Welcome to the JSP Podcast. Oh, I bit my cheek. <laughs> oh, fuck. That shit hurt like a bitch, nigga. I'm bleeding. Oh. We also got our music from Keto, a good homie of ours. Um, again, I need to double check and make sure I'm saying this name right. But um, links down in the description. If you fucks with the music, check him out. His shit is dope. He's a dope guy, really nice. Um, he um, you can also like hire him to make beats for you. Tall. Yes, he's tall. But uh, yeah, so links in the description. Uh, check out the links if you fuck with the music. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Zare is here. Say hi, nigga. Hello. Who moon looking as? Aaron's here. Say something. Oh, yeah. And I'm here. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> huge controversy. Kim Kardashian wearing braids. Bro, can, can we not talk about this? Yo, wait, hold on. I just want to know. <laughs> I just want to know. Ah, shit, I bit it again. I just want to know if it's two long ponytails. No, it's like she got like five braids. Ah, cause two long ponytails. Yo, that's you got both of them shits. One, two. You know, back shots is different. <laughs> ponytail, ponytail, boom, boom, boom. Like fucking <laughs> horse reins or whatever. Yeah, the motherfuckers is handles. Like <laughs> that. That's just like riding a nice Harley Davidson. That's mm-hmm, boy. But okay, never mind then. I yeah, we're, we're not actually doing this though. This is just a vehicle to uh, introduce our new term to erase all cultures that we don't understand uh, off white. This is now the term for somebody who's not technically white, but pretty much white. <laughs> there you yeah, go. I came out with it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Isn't that just whitewashed? No, 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 no. Zara. What? Hush. <laughs> Are you eating or what is. Well, oh, the smack. I, I, I'm eating pesto, nigga. I wasn't bullshit. No, because it sounded like you were gonna say something, but you were like, "There." Oh yeah, I was. I was swallowing. <laughs> <Hold> <laughs> but it's funny because it lined up perfectly to be even more mean to him. Because as soon as he said, "What?" Well, I said, "Hush." <laughs> yeah, nigga. Like, yeah, but whitewashing them. But I think it's better to say that that bitch Kim K is off white because normally you would describe. Okay. Well, the way this happened is that me and me and um Aaron were trying to figure out what she was, and I was like, I was like, I think she's like, wait, what? Like I called her like a, I'm like a desert hoe or some shit, and then and then Aaron, Aaron was like, and Aaron was like, yeah, I think she's some type of brown, but I'm not sure. I think she's um, Ar- Armenian. I'm pretty sure she's Armenian, but I said Turkish at first. Yeah, yeah, you was like Turkish or some, and then like yeah, these niggas just just like all right, she's off white. Fuck it, like she's not brown, but she's off white. You know what I mean, like. That's all. And I mean, let her rock her shit. I don't think it's that bad. Like, it's just cornrows, niggas. And this is from a nigga who wore cornrows for the first 18 years of my life, nigga. I don't fucking care. Yeah, Kanye has no. awarded Kim the pass. She probably, she probably be eating his ass. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> Amber Rose said he like finger in the booty. This is, that, that's very rude to say. I don't problem with Kanye like in a fang in the booty. I'm well, just, yeah, but I'm saying like just outing it, just being like, oh yeah, and he like, oh, just, Amber Rose weird. saying yeah, that. That's weird to do. Yeah, no, okay, yeah. So apparently there was some like little back and forth, and yeah, she just went real low blow, and he just like, bitch, like, come on. <laughs> when I was bent over, you said I would never tell nobody, and then you and then you five knuckle shuffle my butt cheeks. <laughs> now, now, fucking five years later, you talk about on Twitter like he like fang in the booty, y'all, and like, everybody like, oh, <laughs> that's Kanye. He's like, oh, this bitch. So, yeah, I would never shake Kim K's hand. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Her little hands, too? She's like 5'2", niggas. You know she got some small hands. All right, I, I ain't going to go no further than that. Okay, anyway, uh, <laughs> what topics did I even have? I was just going to ask random questions, right? Okay, this one is easy-ish. Uh, you're not Wait, paid in dollars. Where are you getting them from? Oh, no You got some internet cred? No. Oh, my, this nigga said <laughs> no. No, I don't. No, I can just steal him. I can just steal him. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Fresh from the brain. Anyway, uh, what would you be paid in if you weren't paid in money? There you go. Not money? Yeah. Um, Let's just say no currency so you can't be like doubloons. I think it's doubloons. 
<laughs> like, so I can't be like gold. Yeah, like no gold, no like oh, I pay me in jewel. No platinum. Shit, nigga, you didn't pay me in. Wait, can I say? Nah, never mind. I was gonna say like small children. Pay me in small children, nigga. Can I say T? I don't know that used to be currency, kind of, but like. Hmm. Small children is currency in some circles. I feel like the cost would be it's offset. So, is it? Like, the cost for caring for a small child is probably outweighed by. Nah, I'm telling that nigga by the end of the week. Like, I ain't caring for him long. Like, yo. <laughs> You're just on Twitter, like, who needs a kid? Yeah, yo, where the rich people at, yo? I'm trying to go to, <laughs> I'm trying to, go to some, some, some like Hollywood party. I know one of your motherfuckers don't buy him. Even if you don't have no, like, real, like, malicious intent. Oh, wait, here's the thing, though. It has to be equivalent. You can't just, like, up your pay grade by getting, like, a preem, like, baby out of nowhere with, like, perfect genes for powerlifting or whatever. Uh, okay, because I, so, I was going I was going to sell a kid to, like, Brad Pitt or something. So, yeah, if you're getting, like, seven twenty five an hour and you get paid in kids, you're getting, like, <laughs> you're getting, like a pile of mush at best. All right, I don't, <laughs> I don't want kids. Dude. Fuck, fuck the children. I don't want them. I was going to say room and board. I mean, it's like, bro, like, the f- how am I going to eat? I mean, yeah. I can't, I can't go to the club and flex. I get paid in room and board. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, like, what's well, good? Holla at your boy. I got a nice crib. Like, nigga, do you got, do you got, do you got food in the crib? I'm like, no. I don't got roaches, though. Wait a minute. Can I get paid in, like, air miles? I yeah. Like, airplane I, miles? I got clothes. For real, give me that. Oh yeah, I- I'm gonna go somewhere and I buy shit. I got the regular job. Nigga, I can't eat. No, nigga, you can't get another job on the side. That's it. You can. No. Can you? Do you have two oh. jobs like a Jamaican? Like a Jamaican, I think a lot of people have two jobs. But <laughs> yeah, my bad. I put disrespect on all the Jamaican. I know your niggas be working like five. My bad. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> ah, I cover my mouth because Corona's still going around. Um, yeah, I guess if, you know, that changes things, because if it was just, you can't earn money anymore, then yeah, I'd, I'd pick something like, I don't know, rice. That's so um, I don't fucking, know. something yeah. weird, like, everlasting life, nigga, so that way, if, you know, when I'm hungry, I'm not dying, like. I choose, like, graphics cars or some shit, basically. <laughs> That's currency. Well, you can resell it, but it's not currency. I don't walk into the a store and be like, here's my GTX. Uh, 1080. Said, it's relative to how much work you do. Yeah, which is none. So I guess I'm just broke regardless. Nigga, you getting like yeah, like you giving away like old ass <laughs> old five graphics cards and shit. <laughs> fucking, what, what I fucking ask this. I don't have a fucking job. Fuck. This, this is a hard ass. All right, here's a Maybe slightly less hard, ones. maybe harder question. Okay, people always have like the who would you have a historical dinner with thing. I want that, except there's no there's no safety net. There's no oh I want to talk to to. God damn, I'm thinking like Gandhi and then I think Einstein, but I'm pretty sure both spoke English. Uh, Charlemagne, fuck. <laughs> there we go. No, like, let's talk to Charlemagne, but he speaks English, something like that. Charlemagne the God? No, Charlemagne the man. <laughs> I don't know that nigga. I heard of him. I don't know him. Who he? Is he Russian? He sound Russian. Charlemagne was the king of the Franks. The Franks? <laughs> yeah. Like the hot dog. Don't let me know, Frank King. Nigga, King of the Dicks. Fuck that nigga. I want to meet. You said there's no safeguards. Yeah, so they don't know what the internet is. They're they they might still be racist. They they you know all the baggage that comes with. Zara, you go for it, bitch. <laughs> me, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's hard. I'm trying to think too. That's why I'm telling you go first. Screw that. Come on, bro. You can do it. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who led the Confederacy during the Civil War? Robert <laughs> E. Lee. Robert E. Lee? All right, hold up now. Hold up now. Robert E. Lee. You're going to beat some... Robert E. Lee. Mm-mm. Robert E. Lee height. We're you just going to beat him up? <laughs> Five. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, nigga, you know me well. That nigga's 5'10, 165. Fuck it. Robbie, <laughs> I want to meet that motherfucker. I swear to God, I'll take that nigga eyeballs out. I'll show him a nigga. I swear to God. <laughs> I 
Oh you will know my name is the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I will Django unchain on his monkey. I mean, on on his white ass. I guess I'm the monkey in the situation. <laughs> um, yeah, Robert E. Lee potentially. I guess he he was five ten, but that nigga was only one sixty five. That nigga was hungry. It was a civil war. I'll beat his ass. I mean, he's also like he died at sixty three. I meet the nigga at. 58. I'll give him a little years of... <laughs> I just want to make sure I beat his ass. I don't want to get fucked up by him. He'll, he'll hang me up on my dick and shit. I, I, didn't, I can't lose that fight. That's, a, that's I, didn't, I didn't take into account that we might just pick somebody and beat them up. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if it was someone to actually talk to, Bruce Lee or Muhammad Ali, not Michael Jordan, because he might be a dick. Oh, yeah. They also have to be dead. That's dead? Funny, yeah. Oh, Kobe. Oh, fuck. Also, I named three dead people, yeah. by the way. <laughs> or, right, yeah, or, yeah. or two before any of them or all three all three be am- I, it, all three I, I could die at the end of the conversation too fuck it fulfilled bingo yeah Kobe I don't want to meet Gigi because that would make me too sad that was his daughter mm. I don't want to meet her Mm-mm, no sorry Gigi I don't even know what you would say really that's what I'm saying right your dad is amazing yeah nigga I know <laughs> is she like 16 or 14 or something mm-hmm yeah, yeah like house school. <laughs> Do you like my little pony? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't... I'm like six years younger than you. Stop. Do you like algebra? <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. Do you like yeah, algebra? I was saying, like, I'm trying to be her friend and shit. She's like, motherfucker, dude. Oh, um, Gigi, do you want to make a TikTok? She seemed like, I don't have time for this shit, bro. I got TikTok. Like, <laughs> oh, God. TikTok, TikTok. So I'm like, get your old ass away from me. So yeah, help pops. Now I'm that excited happens. to be like old and cringy. That sounds like so much fun. I do it on purpose at the job all the time. With the kids. It's it sounds great actually. Now I understand why like those dad humor like dads are just like rolling when they say this corniest shit. Yeah, it, it's funny because the kids really like play into it, but it's like we're literally part of the same generational grouping. I'm not that much older than you, but they don't see it that way. Like today, the kids are like, you're old. Or like at least like oh no 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 that's like every other day. Today though was like you look old. And I was like, bro, I literally you get stopped in the old. Yeah, I was like, I literally get stopped in the elevator by teachers from the other school because they think I'm one of the high school students. Like, what are you talking? <laughs> yeah, they're silly. Little fucks. All right. You guys had a pick though. You guys still haven't picked. I picked like five. I don't know. This is hard. Jared, pick someone that you'll beat ass. Christopher Columbus, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> In case you didn't know, listeners, he's Mexican. But the ongoing joke is that he's actually just an Apache warrior who's lost. <laughs> like Nighthawk or whatever from a... No, his name is Running Coyote in my book. Oh, okay. Until he tells me the, like, his actual tribe name, which he, he said he'll never disclose. So. All right, then, next question. So you motherfuckers just want to just... Bitch, I'm I gonna say like Charles Darwin, maybe. You can pick an ancestor. I don't know. Y'all motherfuckers suck. It's weird. I don't have any ancestors. Also, what, what would I say? I'd be like, "Thanks for getting beat for me, nigga." <laughs> <laughs> How does <that> shit feel? <laughs> Damn, couldn't be me. <laughs> I'd have, I'd have ended the whole family line right there. I'd be like, "Nah, y'all niggas tried to kill me." <laughs> yeah, I just want to revive. Revive an old like slave and then just flex on him. Like, nah, that wouldn't have been me. I would have fucked them all up. Wouldn't have been me. Look at my look. look I got <laughs> shoes. Jordan, can you say it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I would never. I would no, actually wait. never. Wait, they're they're at an answer actually. Well, yeah, I would continue what? to think. I was just gonna say my grandpa since like oh! he passed like two years ago. That's a good one. Actually, no, nah, I wouldn't pick my grandfather. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't because I just feel like, like for you, you knew him, right? Yeah. I knew him a little a bit. A little bit. I feel like, yeah, and Aaron, you knew him, knew him. I, I yeah. Yeah, like you lived with him and stuff for a while. I, I, one, I didn't know at all. I feel like there's a lot of potential there, but I also feel like it could just be completely disappointing. Like, at least with an idol, someone I've idolized for years, I truly already know I'm going to fuck with it at least a little bit. Like, I'm going to at least be like, enamored you know if whether or not bruce lee doesn't feel like i'm worth his intellectual um time and effort that's another thing 
or if I just actually can't get over his accent and the way he talks, like, like he like, like he never turns it off. I also feel like he never turned the way he talked off, like the way he talked in interviews. I feel like he talked like that, like regular. Um, and Muhammad Ali. Mm. I don't know if his like old timing. Also, I would want it like younger Muhammad Ali, not like shaking ass Muhammad Ali, old and like you know out of it. Like no, you know, like I don't know if he would like react weirdly to me because of, like I'm young and I'm in a different era and I might not be living up to the to the like expectations that black people were like working really hard for black rights back then. We're hoping that we would get to. I might be a complete black ass disappointment. That would be fucking weak. It just be like oh. Damn. So that's what I went through, and you do what now? No. <laughs> yeah, you like you do what now? You know what I mean? Um, and also, mind you, I also doubt these things of these people, but it's possible. Um, and Kobe, Kobe would be cool. I've I've never heard of actually even single bad fan interaction with Kobe, so he, he at least bullshit it for me. Um, but you know, and with my grandfathers, like I mean, like I said, it's like I don't. The one I didn't get to meet abandoned my mom and her siblings when she was very young, and she's she's definitely she's she's definitely traumatized by it. It comes up way too often, mm-hmm. and it's like I just feel like it, I feel like it, it'd be my job to come at his head for that. You know what I mean? Like I, like I feel like I, I'd have a hard time trying to like just not address that. And then like he also when he left, he just started a whole new family somewhere else and didn't abandon them. So it's like okay, kind of dig move. He also didn't support the family at all once he left. So it's like, all right, grandpa. But apparently he oh, apparently otherwise he was a fucking amazing person. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, what the fuck? Um, so I had to bust his balls. And it's like, all right, I, I don't want to do that. And the other grandfather, I feel like at the age I'm at, it'd be a similar thing. Basically, both my parents have daddy issues, and I feel like I'd be the one to try to attack their dads over it if I had the <laughs> opportunity to now. And I might end up beating my grandfather's ass. Actually, no. In both cases, I would de- I could take Robert E. Lee, but both my grandfathers would put me in the dirt. I'll be dead <laughs> with them. My mom's grandfather was like a golden glove boxer. <laughs> so he'd, he'd beat the living shit out of me. And my dad's father was like six one, two hundred, like plus more than 200 pounds of just pure island muscle. The motherfucker was like curling like huge amounts of weight. And at a very old age, I remember from being very small when I did know him a little bit. And it's like, he'd also fold me like fucking laundry. So <laughs> like I'm gonna stick with Kobe, Bruce Lee, or Muhammad Ali, <laughs> or Robert E. Lee. I'm gonna say now that I have some picks. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna say Jimmy Hoffa would be one of them. Just that mm-hmm. I could be like, you know, that nobody gives a fuck about you, right? <laughs> 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 like, if you got three and a half hours, I got this movie I want to show you. <laughs> um, Albert Einstein, though, I'm not sure if he spoke English. I feel like he did. He had uh, to. Work. Actually, we can look that up. Einstein. I don't think that's tomorrow. I didn't speak English. Fuck him. Uh, never became fluent in English, written or spoken. So yeah, he would. It would be kind of a shit conversation. Actually, that sounds funny as hell. I'd be I like, think. "Das ist gut," and he'd be like, "Yeah." <laughs> but just be the whole conversation. Is that very American of me? What? In my mind, I never actually thought of the like thought that Albert Einstein didn't speak fluent English. Uh, yeah, probably. You know what I mean? Like, that's a very American thing. It's because every depiction we see of him, he would naturally speak English. Just yeah, I mean, like, English. you see him working on the Manhattan Project, and he's all, like, having a good time. It's like, oh, yeah, he's definitely speaking with these guys. No, he had a translator right next to him. That was that guy, not a scientist. That was a translator. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, wow. I had no idea. So, yeah. Uh, Jimmy Hoffa, Robert Oppenheimer. He did famously live to see the nuke explode everything, but I guess that would be an interesting conversation. Um, Ooh. Freud, Sigmund Freud, who did speak English. What a weirdo. And, uh... <laughs> you call me a weirdo? Yeah, dude, Freud's a weirdo. Freud? Yeah, exactly. Also, I'm a psych student, and he's, like, the father of, psych like, or grandfather, I don't know, he's something of psychology. Alright, this nigga Josh, I'm, okay, you know what? What? You go ahead, go ahead. Okay. No, I, I, was just, I was gonna make fun of Josh, but I'll do that <laughs> and say the next one. The last one that I'm thinking of is uh, Shakespeare, who definitely spoke English. I know that oh, because he was an English. That's father. not real English. No, it'd be great. I mean, I have to like explain. I have to like explain to him what molecular gastronomy is and why we're like drinking eggs through like foam or whatever. But you know, it'd be cool. Actually, yeah. Where would you take these people? No, hold up. No, Sigmund Freud. Back take to him. To Applebee's. <laughs> Sigmund Freud. 
back to him real quick. Yeah. I was showing porn. I was showing Pornhub for hours. Oh my god! Got yeah. to think about that. Yeah, right. That's that T, nigga. He was like, oh, I was right, or I don't know. Just go to the front page of Pornhub and watch. Like, there's just like a million incest videos. You'd be like, ah, oh, yes, of course, See? of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was right. If you guys heard the little blip, join in. You you may not have. You probably didn't. Mister <laughs> Henry just joined us. Um, so that's Josh. Um, uh, he. He put a little message in the chat, which I was about to reference. He said, um, I forgot that quick. Y'all in the middle of recording. I don't want to just hop in. And I mean, this is probably why you're making a big show. <laughs> yeah, because it's because you don't want to give fuck with him. But no, I don't see. I wouldn't have did it if he if he didn't sit in that. He like digs he's like his own hole. He's like, unmute his mic and mute it again. There ain't no damn hole, bro. Yeah, jump in there, you I just did, bitch. bro. Listen. I jump in. I don't, I don't even know how far y'all is. I don't even know what y'all talking about. I ain't been part of none of this today because a nigga had things that was going on today. I still got shit going on. It was in the middle of it. I just wanted to see what y'all was in here talking about. Now I'm in here for a second. How y'all doing? I'm going to end this cool. one out. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to end picked, this one. We were picking uh, historical figures to have a dinner with and also where you would take them. You're taking dead. Sigmund Freud dead. to Applebee's. Oh, yeah, they have to be dead and no cheats. So, like, they don't know what modern stuff is and they don't speak English if they didn't speak English. Don't speak English if they didn't speak English. <clears throat> yeah, so you can't pick, like, Genghis like, Khan. Be yeah, like, you can't pick like, Genghis Khan and be like, so Genghis. Jesus. I mean, like, really? TikTok. Dead historical figures. <laughs> they can just be anybody dead. Because we got, like, four said, grandfather picks already. I think Jesus, because if you don't show up, that nigga never showed up. He don't speak English. Wait, he don't speak English. So what? That's not what's important. What's important is if he exists. If you pick him, I thought you just say he can't speak English. It doesn't English. matter. We need answers. Oh, it exists. don't matter. If he doesn't pop up to this dinner, that nigga never. Well, the man definitely existed, but like he exists. Gonna play charades with Jesus all night at an Applebee's. <laughs> nah, bro. Bro, all you gotta do, no, bro, hey. just hand a nigga water and be like, and just be like, I'm and trying to get drunk. Like, up with Jesus. <laughs> I want no, ice time, bro. If, Not if, to have nothing, bro. If listen. Jesus turns it into wine, then like, okay, this nigga was legit. You playing with Jesus? Jesus don't want to do that. If he doesn't, you want to play with? I would have a hell of a play date with Jesus. He don't want to play with I'll you. I fight that nigga if he don't want to play. <laughs> yeah, so far Marion's picked like four people, and it all ends in fights. He picked Robert E. Lee and two, two grandfathers, and he just wants to fight. I pick Robert E. Lee, nigga. Wants That's the nigga that led the Confederacy. <laughs> Why? I want to be his ass. Robert E. Lee was just doing Robert E. Lee things. All right, you fuck it. Just- now I pick Josh so I can be his ass right next to Robert E. Lee. <laughs> Listen, man. I drop kick both you niggas. Picked Andrew, you should have picked Andrew Jackson, nigga. Asked him why he did Zare people so That's not my beef. That's Zare's beef. Zare didn't pick him. You should have told Zare that. Who he picked? Condoleezza Rice. Oh, his grandfather. I don't think she's dead. Oh. Yeah, that too. What the fuck? I mean, your career is right there. Yeah, he picked his grandpa. You no, know? but yeah, Einstein didn't speak English fluently. Jesus don't speak English, nigga. What the? No, fuck? we're talking about you. Don't don't explain. Yeah, because we, we just looked it up just before you came in. We were like Einstein, but apparently he didn't speak fluent English. Also, I'm trying to say, if Jesus was the real deal, then that nigga could learn English like that. Um, fuck. That's not how the world works. He was a normal ass nigga. He had no influences. That's my point. I'm trying to figure out if Jesus was the real deal. Was Jesus Jesus or just some fucking? Doing it, Jesus was was a vessel of God. So you telling me a vessel of God can't be like, yo, Dad, like, can I just learn English? I can have an actual dinner right now. I'm sure he would let him speak tongues. Yeah, that's crazy. Now I think about it, that's crazy. Yeah, no, I would pick someone like I would pick. Damn, I can't pick Einstein. Mm, I don't want to take no nigga. I would take a nigga. I want Nat King Cole. <laughs> that's good. That's actually good. <laughs> That's really good. Because you know what that nigga be like? Be like, damn, this place decent. It's a nice. And they got, what are these? They spicy? Them, they call them what? Buffalo chicken? Buffalo chicken wings? But how they wings? Ain't no wings in this. They're boneless. Boneless? They got rid of the bone in the chicken? What the <laughs> hell? They have a whole fit, bro. It would be so crazy. be so confused. They let wh- white people sit next to us? <laughs> What the hell? Why y'all change that, nigga? <laughs> 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 All right, facts, facts, facts. You're like, oh, no, go back. I don't f- Send me back, motherfucker. I don't want to. I think, I think Tupac would be an interesting one, too. No. I mean, no. 
No. Now, hold up, Josh. Why know the Tupac? I don't know if I would want the publicity. Niggas going to be swarming that motherfucker. Uh, I mean, if, if if any of these dead figures popped up, other than like Robert E. Lee and I guess like our personal family members, it'll get swarmed. I mean, Robert E. Lee, it depends. If it hits social media, Robert E. Lee, I probably won't be able to beat his ass before someone else shows up to beat his ass. But, <laughs> but like, it is, you know, I think with the situation, it's like a it's like a private situation. It's a private. Just like send out a tweet, like who wants to beat Robert E. Lee's ass? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> charging fifty bucks a punch. Like I'd be a fucking millionaire by the end of the day, dude. It's just like Robert E. Lee would be mince meat. He'll look like a uh, Emmett Till. Uh... <laughs> Damn. So yeah, I, I think two pockets up. All right, one. I got it. I shouldn't have joined in because I got you dipping. It's cool. What do you mean? Bye, Felicia. Okay. Now you gotta go, cause then like, yeah. Now the joke is bad. If go. I don't. <laughs>